Welcome back, everybody. I'm going to try not to yell so much in this episode. We'll see how that goes. Because there's a cat on my lap. I think she's already leaving. She's absolutely already leaving. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Citrus. Oh, I think that was Marnie. My bad. You leaving? Okay, that answers that question. We decide the team yell, we'll cheat you on Citrus. Let's help it together. Kind of got a Steve irwin -y vibe going on here. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it's entirely unnecessary. You're evil, right, Miss Oleana? Oleana. Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There's no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I don't think that she would ever be that excited. Sorry. I've hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kind of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I've chose? Um, this one looks like a bro? You think you can find me? What should we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Citrus, team yells, yelling with the yellow handle it. Uh, what? No, this is probably on search around the front of the stadium. What? For now, we should try to head the plaza together, right? Sure. Alright, let's all work together and head to Rose Tower. Eh. Alright. What the fuck's happening? It's him right there. Let's find Oleana's league staff member. Holy shit, TK. The bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? What's up? Give it to me. I know you have it. <laughs> Cat hair erwer sitting on the world's most uncomfortable edge of a couch. <laughs> a fierce will, but I'm afraid of heights. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, well, can't go in there. There ain't shit in there. Um, anyone up here? Any bros up here? No? No jabronis? I'm looking for you jabronis. Well, where's this gosh darn jabroni at, huh? Well, I guess not in here. So I guess I'll see myself out. <laughs> Alright, Windom. What's up? Dot, 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 dot. This bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Oh no, hold on. They were Sylvester Stallone. They should surprise you. You should me to look his way. We already have the key. What? Blast, I turned around. And I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Ooh, wow. Macro Cosmos Eric. Macro Cosmos. The fuck is Macro Cosmoses? Cosmoses? Earthquake that bad boy. Man, why couldn't he have just been a round boy? Like, instead, why couldn't that have not been a beard and he just been a floofy boy? So I still like to believe he is. Oof, Afro Manitan fucking killing it. Durant. Nah, ground is neutral, but it, it's fine. I mean, it's still gonna fuck him up. My cheers will rarely get you going. Thanks for the help. <laughs> my speed rose sharply. Okay. I would have rather it been my attack, but you know. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Oof. Get fucked. <laughs> That's what you're gonna do. I haven't even used my flapple. Don't suddenly talk to me like that! I accidentally turned around! I don't... Who do you... Who does number two work for? All I need to do is hide and I won't have to give you the key. I thought he couldn't escape. I don't know how fast that guy could run. Of course, I've got no idea where he went, Guff. Well, he can't run faster than my bicycle. Uh, unless I get caught up on an uh, idiot. 
Well, that ain't him. Here he is, right here. G get out of the way, please! How'd you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever, I'll defeat you this time. What is happening? Did people also hate this part of the game? Because this part I could kind of maybe understand. Because this is kind of dumb. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Super effective! Yep. Mm-hmm. What else you got? Come on, Excadrill. Nah, Earthquake will still do it. I should be faster than an Excadrill. Should be. Feel that flow! Yeah, you feeling it, Citrus? Yes. I'm feeling it. My defenses sharply rose. This time I do wish it was my speed. <laughs> Because I was almost worried that an Excadrill was going to outspeed me. I love that Excadrill is only like two foot tall, I think it is. It makes it so much cuter. Yeah, got cat hair all over my face. I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. Yeah, I know. I don't quite understand how. But you did. Good job. They say hide in a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. I don't like this part of the game. If I have to fight this guy one more fucking time, you're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. Cool. A Pharaoh seed. This is neutral. Doesn't matter. Oof. Ooh, Steelix. I don't care. <laughs> Christ, dude. Yeah, have some of my support. I know you can keep the beat going. Dance, Pokemon. <gasps> this is so lame. Just let me fight the fucking Elite Four and the Champion, guys. Come on. God. I, it hasn't even been ten minutes that I've been doing this. It feels like it's been fucking half an hour. <sighs> Flapple, you're level 60? Yeah, but fucking Surbird. That, that's, that's that. Final Gambit. I don't think I care. The user faints but does damage equal to its HP. No, 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 no. What level do you learn close combat, motherfucker? Learn it! Hiding didn't work and battling didn't work. Only thing to do now is run! <laughs> Seems like you've got me cornered, but I'm going to... I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Oleana is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. <sighs> Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner the league staff member at the station together. What? <laughs> He's already there. He's already on the monorail. Uh-oh. Which one is it? Hmm. Hmm. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Shoot, darn it. You did a cracking job. Crappin' crappin' jerb of curling that bad lead my statement here. Let me sing a song for every right needs. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a song is a humble song. Blah 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 blah. Maybe I can't cheer someone up on just the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy, maybe I can't help. But still the only thing I can do is sing, sing my humble song. Pierce. Go Pierce! Hey, isn't that, oh, hey, isn't that Pierce? What's he doing the street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Um, then they're going to evolve into Obstagoons, right? 
<laughs> like immediately. <laughs> Is that how that goes? We got the key, Pierce. We're gonna take the monorail Rose Tower now. How'd you get the key? Search for the bad league staff. Oh, it's thorned. That's pretty cool. <laughs> So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yell's gonna have their hands full holding up holding up that bad least staff members. And we'll be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Citrus, what should we do? Uh let's go ahead? Good thinking. Let's go catch Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge at the champion cup. Citrus, you've cleared you clear the way to Rose Tower. Now you do is charge up on ahead. Employees and employee, I guess. Seems he exactly hit the monorail key and tried to impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion old, old up inside. One of his plotting. Eh, that accent's so bad. Times like this when tension and passion run high. Remind me of Spike Mothers in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no on course. Wait, you see? You better get going. I'll send some support your way with you. Gotta stick around. Make sure your bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Citrus! Yes, thank you for leaving them behind so that I don't have to continue on with my terrible accent. What's up, Hop? Let's go, Citrus. Yeah, you, you already said that. What's over here, I wonder? I, Juan there. Any items? There is. What are they putting items all the way out here for? Give me. An electric seed? Ew! Neato. Okay. And there's gotta be something over on this side as well. Yes, there is. A cell battery. Okay. Interesting. Not the items that I would have thought... I guess. I guess kind of it is like a power plant. Well, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? I don't know, dude. Listen, Citrus. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Towers built on a power supply. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get to the roof and have a best space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Is that secretary just seriously going to let us in, or is she a robot? A robot. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower's like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Our staff has prepared to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if, most, if, Mrs., if Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. I don't know what's happening. This is not Eric. <laughs> that is yet another Durant. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to need to either switch my Afro Manitan out or uh, just not use Earthquake. But Earthquake's so good. Damn, James Pond. You a, you a quick, special attacking boy. Having to give up my pocket money, losing means I'm back in the red. You didn't have to give me $4,800. But my bonus, my dream of finally affording a house of my own. You need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Up. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. Who would say that? All right, we're nearly at Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Citrus, let's crack on! <laughs> what? I can read that, it says Rose! Holy ass! This is the world's in most insane elevator ever! Dude, it's going 100 floors. Right? Shut up. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet, why have we stopped? Because we have a battle, my man. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? 
Thank you for taking part in Galler's League Gym Challenge, yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the glorious high-tech elevators of the Rose Tower able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. Subsidiary, excuse me. I, as you know, as longtime fans of the channel, uh, I cannot read. No big deal. A Kafant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hey, I hate to tell you, your double is about to get just fucking wrecked. <laughs> Damn you, Levitate! I was hoping he had fireproof instead. Oh, no. Hey, double didn't die, though. That's a plus. That's why Bronzong's good, dude. You never know if he's running Levitate or if he's running fireproof. That's not going to do much at all. And that wasn't going to do much to either one of them, really, since they're both Steel-type. So I don't quite know what you were going for there. Dub wool. Okay, well, he's Steel and Psychic, so, uh... He's going to be a pain in the dick to kill. Um, shit, dude. Steel Psychic with Levitate when you don't have any Fire-types is a bit of a boner. <laughs> It's a Surbird. Okay. Metal Sound. Yes, thank you. For doing absolutely nothing. Just nothing. Um, first impressions, please, at the Bronzong, because it'll still, it should be neutral or super effective. Neutral. Critical hit, though. So, who cares, right? That's what I'm saying. Come on, Rook. Level up. Cool. Pit. We create an extraordinary lift that's safe even for Pokemon battle. Who cares? Nobody can defeat Macrocosmos Construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. Is anyone else greatly confused? If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask one more that, that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Constructors for providing this wonderful technology as well. I still don't care. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our team has been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. Thank you! Get my Darmanitan the more peepees. This means peepees, I guess. Peepees. Oh, poopies. So remember in previous games where you'd have like dungeons that you'd have to go through? How like Silphco was one giant fucking labyrinth of shit? I don't even care what you have to say. Just end me. Kevin and Carla, a clang in them a while. Well, guess what? Your double's gonna get fucked by Earthquake again. Oh no. Intimidate. Oh, I so care. Man, yeah, now they're literally railroading. I mean, like, you know. Not, well, it's not literally a railroad. So I, I, it can't literally be. But it's on rails, right? Because uh, how else would the floor work? Is it just one giant fucking thing that, like, a pole that pushes the one platform up? Good job, Rook. You did it. You grew to level 59. Nobody can defeat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. The building's well over 500 feet tall. It's as tall as one around Machoke standing on top of each other. A hundred Machoke. What? Quite terrified of heights, actually. I don't care. So there's an insurance company. Is Rose trying to collect insurance by destroying his own facilities through subsidiary companies with Dynamax power spots that he creates and then creates wild random giant Pokemon to collect the insurance money? Mac Macro Cosmos Air. 
this is like a monopoly, right? <laughs> Adeline and Justin. Steelix and Stinkfuck. <coughs> Thank God everything you guys have can just be fucked by Earthquake. It's the best. Why would I not just try to Earthquake seriously everything you guys throw at me? Uh-oh. It didn't kill the Steelix. What am I gonna do? Can I please? Zen headbutt? The fuck? Uh-oh. Its speed went down. <laughs> it's attack and defense, Rose. Yep. That does not help you. Bye-bye. Yes, double experience, because I killed the dub wool. <laughs> okay, so now we're at the top right? Top right? I'm not a Twitch streamer. But, uh, you know, nobody can beat Macrocosmos Zero when it comes to our dedication to our work, as if that's been said every fucking time. <sighs> Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that the high rises such as this one, the higher you go, the more important the people you find working there. I don't care. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this. Uh-huh. Go on. You could have just looked up. Because there's so many fucking stories. Well, this is a cool place. Whoa. Miss Oleana? 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 Oh, I can move. I thought there was going to be a fucking cut. Why did they do that? Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid that now is the time for you to go home. Because... Well, I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose! You shall be the first, Citrus! If I beat you to pieces, then the Chairman will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart! In that state, he will listen to anything the Chairman says! She in angers Macrocosmos Oleana. A Frostless! Whoa, frost loss. Yas, a frost yas. <laughs> I can D max here. Ooh, in level fifty. Rock sleet it. And I hate to tell you, yep, you did. <laughs> frost lass ain't known for her um defenses. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my partner! Uh huh. Ooh, a Salazzle! Well, Afro Manitan unfortunately knows Earthquake, which would just absolutely fucking annihilate it. But other than that, what? We've got a James Pond who could also annihilate it. Yeah. 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 A Frost Yas. Is she going to have nothing but lady Pokemon? Is she going to have a Vespaquin? And a Gardevoir? <laughs> or Garduver? Dilucis Horse Doofsties. <laughs> yup, uh-huh, okay, well. Awesome, thank God. You know, really putting up a hell of a fight here. A Serena! Yes, I will switch uh, to uh, to Lady Goo Goo here. Because, I mean, shit, I've got so many, so many different Pokemon I can use to take out grass types. Lady Goo Goo with Poison, Rook with Flying, uh, I've got fucking Sir Bird with First Impression. Like, I am set to just fuck Lady Pokemon up. And by Lady Pokemon, I mean Grass Pokemon. Mm-hmm, that's what I mean, yes. God, look at the hips on that one. <laughs> D 
man, that's a lot of spurns. A Milotic! No, 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 I don't need to switch. Look at all these purdy ladies! Overdrive, please! <laughs> oh, Overdrive is so good! Oh, God, I hate how good it is. I don't hate how good it is. I actually very much enjoy how good it is. Oh, my God, Lee Goku. A Garboder. What? <laughs> Not gonna lie, you had me in the first half. This is my last Pokemon. Seriously, only one is gonna finish this. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna Gigantamax her fucking Garboder. I'm a Gigantamax mine first lady. And there's nothing you can't do a gosh darn thing about it. Ew! Look at that big, big heckin' boy. <laughs> He's so ridiculous. Look at him. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. A Gigantamax at Rose Tower. <laughs> yes. This bitch crazy. Yes, and Garboder has absorbed. Skyscrapers, airplanes, the SS and, but don't worry, they're all toys. There's a polka doll in there, a substitute, you know, all that good shit. Yes, dig through the ground, my afroed fool. Uh oh. It didn't end it. That's unfortunate. It's weak armor, its defense fell, and its stats rose. Max Rockfall? Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay, it's only half health. It's not stab or anything. And my crazy HP totally helped me out there. Oh, I was hoping that killed you. God, the irony of that would just be just the best. I forgot! I don't even need- Uh-oh. It's faster than me because of rock armor. Because I don't have- I'm not scarfed anymore! Fuck my beanage, dude. My sweet little baby beanage. My poor little afro. But then he dies. No one gets the experience. <laughs> he got hit with some sand and fucking exploded. <laughs> my sweet little afro man. Flapple. Why haven't I used you yet? Uliana! <laughs> oh, hey, actual sigh. I wasn't able to win. Uliana, you really are a hopeless woman. Um. That got kind of real and serious. Well, this is inexcusable! What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There's nothing to be done now. Typical citrus! <laughs> Typical citrus! You and Darman's hand are unstoppable! <laughs> Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Okay. Strange. Leon. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and you still fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. I understand that Cameron gave us very identical voices. Very, very similar verses, voices. And that now that we are actually having long, serious discussion, it is time for everyone to realize what an idiot he is for doing so. What I don't understand, though, is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this, this madness. It's to carry out the championship match. That's what Gallo wants and what I want. That's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. 
Look at the Gallo region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Gallo today would no longer even exist. What Gallo wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. But the... But tomorrow is technically the future, my man. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years! Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word I'll help with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Badoy? <laughs> Lee! I never, you never showed what you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Pierce and Marty and all those yell, team yell oddballs, they helped us all get here. <laughs> Slaps the shit out of him. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop. Citrus, let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. I'm loaded with buko bucks. If you'll excuse me. Us, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one of the history books. One for the history books. Don't worry! Not only did Cameron give us very similar voices, he also can't fucking read! One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know I am going to change the course of history. <sighs> I'm not going to get to fight the champion anytime soon, am I? The next evening. Yes? What's happening? Anything? This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling. But you've had butterfree. <laughs> but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Did you eat a Butterfree? I understand I've had butterflies in my stomach, but like, I had Butterfree in my stomach. That sounds like you ate a live Butterfree. Challenger Citrus, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you didn't learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another help enough, hop in his trusty cinderace, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like the... Other, those other league staff, I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oleana can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. <laughs> well, that's what she said. <laughs> I guess we trust her then, Citrus, yeah? Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to Wyndham Stadium? No. I don't. Understood. Come talk to me again if you're if you need any help or use of any of the flying taxis out front. I don't. I am not gonna be tricked into your trickery <laughs> your traps. You think you can fool me? I'm the fooler here. Burp. Oh yes. Just like the doctor ordered. The Winden Stadium, please. Mm, please. Any time now. I was like, that Corviknight's fucking huge. Okay, it's the next day, so I would hope that my shit's healed. Yoss. Okay. Well, uh. Oh, it's Hop. Cool. Yeah, fucking sweet. Citrus! What, my man? Just let me, just let me do it. There it is, the hero one is stating the greatest stadium in all galler. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever made and set the world on fire! So go get yourself checked in! Am I actually gonna fight the champion? Am I going to fight the champion? Oh my goodness, the citrus! You can do it! Challenger Citrus, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals. And they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through the final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So you're ready to go to the locker room now. Yes, straight away. Then I'll show you the way. Yes, do you know the way? Oh, man. 
That was like forever ago. Um. Is this like a Mega Man fucking like boss rush? I'd say I'm to win this thing. And I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone spike mother reclaim the pride and see him smile once more. Long time no see. This will be a different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this, this is a serious battle. Okay. I'm gonna win my way. Th I'm gonna win my way through every round. Then I'll be the one to take on Leon. If I don't, then I'll have failed to repay Duraladon and rest my team for all their hard work. My first match is against Rayhan of all people. What rotten luck! But even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. I'll be bringing my matches to an end in a heartbeat. You'll see. No one sees them will ever forget me. I will always impress on and challenge by yourself so that I can go and as a Pokemon to train up for as wrong as possible. As wrong as you continue to oppose yourself, you are brilliant and will never fade. Yes, I remembered that he was very Japanese. It's a curious feeling. My heart is racing a bit, but I still can't wait for the match to begin. So is it another bracket style? Is the opening ceremony for when you're ready? Please head for the pitch. Let me see the bracket. Okay. Well, shit, dude. I don't want to start no fucking bracket and then fight the champion. So I guess we're just going to end this one here. Hey, if you like this episode, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to see more episodes from me, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Until then, I will see you in the next episode. See you then. I'm ready to fuck some shit up.